A new feature in Edge Animate is the ability to use motion paths. Now, this is a feature that people have been waiting for for a while and for good reason. With just a few clicks, you can add some pretty nice and organic looking paths to your animations. For this example, we're going to add a bird to our city scene here and I'm going to work with our file motion paths here. And I'm going to move our bird just off our stage here. What I want to do is while this is selected, I'm going to go over to our properties and I want to select motion paths. And I also want to select auto orient. Now, basically what auto orient means is wherever this is going to move along the path, the bird is going to turn in that direction. Now, if you look at this, we have our pivot point that's kind of way off centered here. So I want to change exactly where that is. So I'm going to move the origin pivot point down a bit and I'm going to move the X down to it just so it's about center of where it should rotate from. And so, yeah, that rotation looks a little bit better. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and set up our auto keyframe here. Make sure my playhead's at the very beginning. And I want to select a uh, keyframe for the location at the very beginning here. And let's move our playhead to the end of our animation. And I want to click and drag our bird. I guess I'll kind of have it going up. Now, once I've done that, what you can see on our stage is this visible line here. Now, this is the motion path. Now, before motion paths, what you would have to do in order to have any type of organic looking flight for this bird would be adding multiple keyframes and changing things as you went along. Let me show you exactly how this is going to be different. Now, I'm going to move along the motion path, and if you note, we're getting the cursor turning into a pen tool, and it's allowing us to add an anchor point. So I can click just once, and that's added an anchor point, and I can pull now to have a nice curve. And if you look, the bird is even changing direction because we have orient to path selected. And if I scrub now through our timeline, we have a pretty nice animation happening. Now we can go in and alter the path by pulling on the direction handles of the Bezier curve. And we can even add additional anchor points and start altering those. Or if we don't want that anchor point, we can hold down my command key, control on PC, and simply click once, and that point has gone away. So there are a few extra things I want to do here. I'm going to move our playhead back to the beginning, and we'll change the scale of our bird, and we'll just bring him down to about maybe 50% or so. And then as the bird gets about midway, we'll scale this again up to about 100. And as the bird flies out of the scene, we'll scale it way back down. So now if we play our animation, I'm just going to hit our space bar. We now have our motion path set up and we've changed the path as well as changed the bird scale along the animated path. So with the addition of motion paths, you have the ability to create much more organic animations really quickly.